Hey everybody, my name is Michael. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Android UI kit for Photoshop that you can get from applypixels.com. In the kit, you'll find default screens with settings, drop downs, slide ins, emails, messages, maps, calendars, photos, basically everything your heart desires when you're about to design an Android app. You'll also find easy nav and tap bars, containers and keyboards recreated to pixel perfection to conform to Google's material guidelines. In short, this is a beast of a tool when you're designing Android apps where it will function as your personal assets library. What you'll need is this folder downloaded from applypixels.com and a version of Photoshop, preferably CC 15 or later as we need artboard support. Let me just give you guys a rundown of how I work with this resource. We're going to open up the folder and inside you'll find a PSD file and we're going to go ahead and open up that file. It's a pretty big file and it looks something like this. The first thing you'll notice is all of these screens laid out neatly. These are all different aspects of the UI found in Android Nougat. And just by studying these screens, you can learn a lot about the conventions in the interface, the fonts, the icons, the containers, and generally just Google's approach to UI design. And if you zoom in, you'll notice that each screen really deals with different aspects of the UI. We've got some setting stuff here. We've got uh, drop downs, uh, slide ins. We've got screens relating to email, screens relating to conversation and chat, screens relating to photos, calendars, maps. And finally down here, we've got some more standard UI elements laid out as a assets library of sorts that you can drag and drop in. And obviously most of the stuff that you're seeing here have painstakingly been recreated in vector, giving you the most versatile tool possible. You can drill down and get a hold of the shapes on most of these things. Great, okay, so you get it. There's a lot of content in here, but how do we work with it? Well, let me show you how I use this resource. Now, a great way to start working with this is to simply create a new document. And what I do is I usually just start somewhere with one of the standard screen components like this one, the setting screen, for example, you go ahead and you find that out in your layers pane, you select the entire artboard and you drag it into your new document. And now that new document is converted into an artboard with those exact dimensions. And we can start building out our interface right here. Maybe you want to remove the list. And maybe what you need is really some containers. Well, you can go and mix and match from some of the other screens. Here's uh, a, a nice table and you can uh, just drill down and, and pick up that list and drag that into the artboard right here. Hit command T and uh, kind of move it into place snaps in there. Maybe you want to go ahead and you want to change the background of the nav bar. You can go ahead and do that into a, like a wonderful pink. <laughs> and yeah, essentially you can go back and forth here and you can sort of pick out the UI elements that you need and you can then modify them inside this new document. When you want to create more screens, well, what you could do is you could take another artboard and drag that in uh, to this new document. But you could also simply by selecting the artboard folder here, click that little plus there. If you're clicking that plus, what Photoshop really does is it creates another artboard of that size, which is super neat. And maybe uh, we want to copy in that nav bar there into our new screen. And artboards are pretty cool like that. All we need to do is uh, take the nav bar. We might even take the status bar and the bottom bar and we copy those into the new artboard and just dragging and dropping them in and they're automatically put in place in the same pixel dimensions within the artboard, uh, which is really cool when you're extending your UI. So that is essentially how I use this resource. I go back and forth. I use it as my own personal assets library. I pick out the things that I need. I tweak the things that are not there uh, because all of it is vector. It's really easy to work with. I can quite quickly mix and match different UI components and lean on the conventions of the material guidelines simply by browsing this huge selection of elements. And that is pretty much how I work with the Android UI kit that you can get for Photoshop. You can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at Apply Pixels. I really hope this UI kit helps you create awesome interfaces for Android. Thanks for watching.